Jeff Bezos and Lauren Sanchez looked every inch the loved-up couple as they left their hotel in Rome, Italy to visit the Colosseum on Saturday. The couple was spotted walking hand-in-hand hand as their bodyguards followed closely behind. Television personality Lauren, 52, who gained fame in the U.S. as an entertainment reporter and news anchor, wore a flowing black dress with a plunging sweetheart neckline. Lauren's stylish black dress was perfect for the warm afternoon weather as she enjoyed the outing with her beau Jeff. She wore a comfortable pair of white trainers and shielded her eyes behind a pair of dark sunglasses. Amazon boss Jeff, 58, opted for a blue shirt which he left open at the collar while the businessman rolled up the sleeves. He wore a pair of dark blue denim jeans and donned a pair of off-white shoes on his feet. It's unclear when exactly the world's second richest man Jeff, who has an estimated net worth of £123 billion, and Lauren first got together, but their affair was exposed by U.S. publication The National Enquirer in January 2019. Soon after, the entrepreneur and investor split from his wife of over 25 years and the mother of his four children, Mackenzie Scott, 52. Lauren was also married when her relationship with Bezos was outed. Her then-husband, Patrick Whitesell, 57, was reportedly the one who introduced her to Bezos in the first place. Jeff and Mackenzie finalized their divorce in April 2019, the same month that Lauren and Patrick ended their marriage. Lauren shares two children with Patrick, a son, Evan Whitesell, 16, and a daughter, Eleanor Whitesell, 14. She also has an older son, Nico Gonzalez, 21, with her ex-boyfriend, retired NFL tight and Tony Gonzalez. She and Jeff made their first public appearance together in May 2019, before jetting off to street. Bart's for the holidays. Months later, they made their red carpet debut in January 2020. The couple has spent the past three years traveling the world together, and he had her full support when he blasted off into space on his company's rocket in June 2021.